we're on. Hello everyone, welcome to another Amanda Adams Auctions Overview for the auction on March the 6th. And the viewing for that auction is on Saturday the 4th of March, 11am to 4pm, and on Monday the 6th of March, 12 noon to 6pm, the auction is at 6.30, and we've got such an exciting array for you this time around. We've got the Dale Tonkin uh, collection of Australian art. All this collection has been sent down from Broken Hill. We've got uh, two uh, states from North Bourne. We've got an estate of a distinguished collector in Kew. Uh, there's an estate from uh, Carlton North as well. And we'll just have a quick look uh, around the auction room. Let's have a look. A lot of uh, uh, European, English, Russian silver in the auction. There's some of it, there's a lot more here. There's uh, a very unusual Vita Birch Dark Style Silver tea set in uh, the cabinet. Uh, a Dalton Lab of John Broad uh, Soldier, Boer War Soldier. We sold that, as a matter of fact, 15 years ago at our auction room when we used to be in Bulleen. Now, along here, there's a, a large collection of uh, John Olsons, uh, Pro Hearts. David Boyd's, Tim Storia, Robert Dickerson's. In fact, wherever you look around the auction room, there's a large collection of various artworks. There's a lot of Australian pottery in the auction as well. There's piece of, uh, two pieces of John Castle Harris. I'm going to show you this piece. I really like this piece. This is a 1947 Arthur Merrick Boyd pottery plate uh, with, I think it's a Rosella, isn't it? Does it look like a Rosella? No. It's not? No. What is it? Parakeet? cocky of sorts. Yeah, very nice. Nicely signed on the back too. And I've got to show you this interesting David Bromley. We don't have these too often. He's got a bigger head than me. Have a look at this. What do you think of that one? He's big. He's very big. He's heavy as well, and he's all painted and signed properly on the Paper back. mache? No, it's some sort of synthetic or fiberglass. I don't think it's fiberglass, I think. But it's all painted. Uh, along here, there's a lot of uh, uh, part of the silver collection we have. Uh, this, is, this is an interesting one too. Let's not show you this because I, I like this one. Uh, Ignacio Marmol. Nice painting. This Mokra one's nice Art. over here too. Uh, Tamara Shima. Haven't found this one. This is a coloured wood block from 58, 59. We've looked at his whole catalogue. I haven't seen this image before. So it could be a rare work. Uh, this is part of the collection from North Bourne, from the estate. Lots of French style items. Have a good interesting array of furniture this, uh, this auction too. This is a uh, Regency mahogany ladies riding uh, desk of small proportion. In fact, there's another one on the, uh, over the other side as well. This is interesting, the deportment chair. Oh, yes. Do you think it'll take my weight? Maybe. I'll try it. You'll find out. Uh, you yeah. have to sit straight. Oh, am I sitting straight? Does that take my stomach in a bit? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I'll, I'll breathe in. It feels comfortable. Hey, you do look trimmer. I do. Yeah. I've probably lost some weight sitting down there. Along here, some more things. There's a Dickerson along here. Interesting David Bromley. What do you think of that? Well, you haven't sold one with a man's image. Is he a man or is he a skinny lady? No, that's a man. That's a man. That's an early David Bromley. That looks like a Mick Jagger to me. Maybe it was. Oh, it is. Careful, the lid comes off. This is a teapoy with a removable lid. <laughs> well, the hinges okay, are man. gone, yeah. The hinges are gone on that. That Dickerson's interesting. That's the, uh, yes, this is the a Chinese. What is it? Seated Chinese man. There's more along here, more Pro Hearts and David Boyd's. David Boyd along here. Um, Wendy Sharp. 
with another I one. like this too, the merry-go-round. Merry-go-round by Anne Rado. Part of the, I think she was part of the Moss of Art School. In fact, there's an interesting po portrait over there if we have time. And who's study. that one? That's Wendy Sharp. That's Wendy Sharp. And there's a, a Wendy Sharp over there, but I'm not sure if I can show it because she's topless. Can I show that one? Why not? Okay. So we're going across the room again? No, we're going to walk this way anyhow. <laughs> there's more uh, David Boyd's Pro Hearts. I like this one. Yeah, that's, a, that's an Wild early flowers. one. Wildflowers. Wildflowers, interesting work from 74. Muhammad Ali, genuine signature, not a fake one, a genuine one, with certificate. Along this section, this is part of the collection uh, from the estate in Kew. Uh, large collection of uh, royalty, memorabilia, teapots. Um, there's a scrimshaw as well from their estate. This, uh, a nice late Victorian walnut. Uh, secretary bookcase, no estimates. They used to bring four and five thousand dollars. Now you can pick this up for probably eight to twelve hundred dollars. It's amazing how they've come down, but it's still pretty good value. Along here, this way, and the Cardinals. The Cardinals is good. This is by a very well known artist called Vincenti Povida. Vincenti Povida. Yes, this is the Cardinals. Um, beautiful work. He's, he's worked for a lot of money overseas, so let's hope we can get a couple of overseas buyers interested they in that. They feel like they're in the room. Oh, uh, very well painted. Oh, very you feel well. like you're in their room. Well, you, yeah, you're an intruder. Along this side? It's almost 3D, really. It is, I like it. Along this side, this is by Justice Jorgensen. A portrait of... Who was the doctor? Mr. Uh, Hanley? Mr. Hanley he must have been a surgeon in those days. Yeah. Unusual work by the artist. Our surgeon friends will tell us. And these are works by Thomas Cleghorn. There's about eight or ten of them. They're so all one, from the same series. The same series. Along here, more Pro Arts, uh, Barbara Brash. With a big array, we've got a really interesting collection of art this option. Um, jewellery, we have a lot of interesting estate jewellery as well. You've got to come in. We're running a bit late this time. Uh, this is the first time we're about five days late, but it's well worth the trip to come in and view this auction. If you can't view, ring us up and we'll give you condition reports on all the items if you're interstate or overseas. Uh, so uh, when's the auction, Mandy? You don't know. Okay, I'll tell you then. It's Monday the 6th of March at 6.30. The viewing is on the Saturday and the Monday before. We'll see you at the auction. Bye.